topic at hand on, on the St. Patrick's Day. Um, and, and with me, of course, is Representative Nan Baker uh, and Representative uh, Maureen Anya Anielski, uh, who informed me that she was not Irish. Uh, so I'm Polish. <laughs> you made that very perfectly clear. <laughs> I've given her a hard time about no green on um, We have been working together. The two of them have been working with our office uh, to develop legislation. And what we're going to talk today uh, is about the legislation. Uh, Joanne is here uh, because she will be the recipient of the legislation um, if the legislature agrees uh, to do this. Let me, let me talk about the problem. Um, we have in the state of Ohio today a proliferation of unregulated uh, electronic gaming devices. These are the so-called uh, sweepstakes parlors, so-called internet cafes. Uh, they are really a threat to Ohio families. They are a ripoff to Ohio consumers. They are not regulated. We don't know where the money goes. Uh, it certainly does not go to charity. Uh, they are a threat to legitimate uh, organizations such as the Elks, Eagles, the BFW, the American Legion, who are regulated by the Attorney General's office pursuant to statute uh, and who give their money to charity. And so what you have is consumers being ripped off. You have legitimate charitable organizations that are being unfairly impacted by these groups. And you have law enforcement agencies who have a very difficult time regulating them. This was first brought to my attention. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of good things, maybe some bad come out of campaigns, but this was first brought to my attention when I was out campaigning across the state. Uh, I had uh, a, a member of the VFW come to me and say, we're being unfairly impacted by the so-called internet cafes who you guys don't regulate, the state doesn't regulate, they get the money, our money goes to charity, their money does, does not. I had law enforcement uh, people come up to me and say, this is very, very difficult. Please, when you get to Columbus, work with the state legislature to make the law clear. And so our purpose today is to, to make the law clear. Uh, and let me, let me introduce uh, now, who wants to go first? All right. Put you up here, and then I'll, I'll come back up, and then we'll all take questions, and we'll go from there. And then whoever wants to uh, we'll have a little demonstration. And Alan Johnson is going to be our person to play, play up here. Will so. you be providing the dollar? Uh, uh, no, but I think uh, Anne O'Donnell. Anne, do you have a dollar? Uh, as Attorney General Mike DeWine stated, I'm here Ann Baker, state representative. I represent District 16, that is Westlake, Rocky River, North Homestead Bay Village, and Fairview Park. And uh, Internet Cafes really gained my attention a few months ago when a um, mayor of mine brought it to my attention. And to tell you honestly, I wasn't quite sure what she was talking about. Internet Cafe. Cafe, you think coffee? And what, are you, what do you have? Uh, what are your concerns? And uh, after an extensive review of the Internet Cafes, or we, we call business centers, or other such names that um, are really misleading as to what it is that's being done in these um, establishments, it became obviously clear that uh, regulation was needed. Uh, we have a few, I wanted to kind of share with you a few proposals that are in the legislation right now, subject to change and evolve as, as the, the legislative process does. And I know that uh, Representative Anelsky will also uh, give a few indications of what's in the legislation that rather evolved as we talked with um, the Attorney General's office. But defining sweepstakes, sweepstake parlors, and sweepstake terminal devices. We want to define it. What is it? Um, categorize these devices along with skill-based amusement machines and slot machines under the definition of gambling services. Set licensing requirements for skill-based amusement machines, slot machines, and sweepstake parlors. Uh, a big one here that uh, we really need to get our arms around limit prizes awarded from the sweepstake parlors to merchandise and prohibit prizes in the form of cash, uh, gift cards or negotiable items 
play on game of chance, lottery tickets, bingo or instant bingo, firearms, tobacco, and alcoholic beverages. We need to define what it is we can or can't do as a reward for engaging in these machines. And finally, grant the Ohio Casino Control Commission the authority to license, regulate, investigate, and penalize skill-based machine distributors and operators and sweet state terminal device distributors and operators. So that just kind of gives you an overview of the direction of this legislation that uh, Representative Winowski and I are preparing. And she will also give an overview, a little more detailed, perhaps a little more local control detail that came through as we discussed this um, with the Office of the Attorney General. And both of our representatives have been out here uh, doing uh, their field work, so please. Their own investigation. Undercover. My, right? Yeah, my name is Nancy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> you were undercover, right? Sort of. Okay. You, sort, sort of, kind of. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Marlene Nanielski, and I am the state representative for District 17. And that I have 17 municipalities in Cuyahoga County. And right now, I am the former mayor of Walton Hills. And as mayor, I was mayor over 10 years. A lot of these places were opening all around us. And a lot of the mayors, including a lot of the you know council people, they did not want these places in their particular town. So when we first started talking about this, to me it was very important to have the municipalities to have a say as to if they wanted them or not. So the most important thing for this legislation, and I, I hope it remains in there, is the option of municipalities to opt out of having these in their town. There might be some you know, municipalities that want them, and there might be some that do not want them, but at least they have the flexibility to make that choice. And I think it's all about you know, choices you know, for them. Um, in uh, addition, I have gone to several of them and as Representative Baker indicated, they are called business centers, they are called sweepstakes, um, 777, I mean, they are just called many different names. And when they are calling themselves business centers, they also do faxing and they also do copies. So that's where they get the name of business centers. And part of this legislation will be to um, provide background checks of the operators and distributors. And if they have skill-based amusements, they will have to go through the background check, which we think is important. Another restriction would be on the operators. They cannot have more than five sweepstake terminals in any location. So that is five. And at least one of the locations that I was in, they had 62. Another location that I was in, they had 30, and I was on a waiting list <laughs> to use the terminals. So there are you know, many places that have many more than five. Also, as um, Representative Baker indicated, no alcohol may be served or consumed at these locations. And a sweepstakes terminal device operator, including that operator's partners or affiliates, may operate only under two licensed locations. So any one person technically could have 10, You're responsible for 10. And, um, or, uh, or I was going to call you representative the speaker, um, Davidson, um, we will um, direct the Ohio Casino Control Commission to limit the number of licenses in each county based on the population. And right now, the legislation does indicate that it would be a maximum of 64 licenses in a particular county. And then if you do the math, 64 you know, times 5, that means that any one county, if you have the population um, stipulation met, that would be 320 machines. So with that, I, I thank you for being here today, and I will turn it back to Attorney General. Sure.